was for me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because you had it over there. I didn't know. I saw you. I'm, like that. I'm still going to finish this, but I still want another one. Okay. I was just asking. I didn't it's, know if it's you. It's for you, baby. I didn't, I didn't know if you were going to treat. It was for you. It was okay. for you. What, what up, fam? fam? Happy Sunday, guys. Happy Sunday to you. And you wonder where Daniel gets that from. <laughs> And you you always say hey, he sees everything. Where does he get that from? But it really is not for me. <laughs> he gets it from mom. Whatever. It's not me. Welcome it's back to the me. channel, guys. It is Mukbang Sunday, and today we are eating Del Taco. Nummy, 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 nummy. nummy. So we each got a burrito, uh, some fries. And then I got... Yeah, we pretty much already started Yeah, eating. we already started EVs for sure. And then I got two beer-battered tacos. This is like really small. Like, this is like... Look at this size. And then look how small this one is. Size matters, Del Taco. Hi, guys. All right, I'm hungry, so let's pray. Because this food smells so good. And these fries are just... Thirsty? I just wanted to finish it. Why are you so thirsty? Thank you, Father, for this food. Thank you, sanctified by your word and prayers. Nothing daily harmless and nourishment to our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Stop trying to take my food. I just want to buy it. No. Mm. I honestly think Del Taco might have the best French fries. Out of all the fast food chains, no. Well, who'd you say has the best French fries? Uh, oh, we gotta get a thumbnail. That's hard because it's gonna be between McDonald's, okay, Chick fil A, nope, Rallies. Rally's fries are bomb. I'm not gonna lie, these are kind of cold, but they're still fire. Maybe it's just the rallies in Memphis, cause you know you gotta go to the hood. Where do you look? So this is the macho chicken burrito with no beans, extra sour cream. I don't know why you get no beans. I love beans. Mm -mm. Beans are good for you. Beans are good for you. I just don't like beans. Refried beans? I don't like beans. Period. Oh. Like, you're worried well, about your tummy. Yeah. You know, like red beans and rice. Mm -hmm. I usually pick out like the sausage and the rice and just leave the beans in there. Seriously. I do. That's offensive. Mm. And your family's from New Orleans. Oh mm. my lord. That burrito is ginormous. Put it up to your hand. Like hold it up. I don't know to compare it to my hands though. Look at that. That's ridiculous. That's crazy. It's so big. <laughs> Sorry. You're so pervy today. What's wrong with you? We had a good weekend. Yeah, we did. Guys, we had See an awesome. See my wink? <laughs> Guys, we had an awesome weekend. So much fun. It was Valentine's weekend. And, um, you know, Valentine's fell on a Thursday this year. Whack. So we really weren't able to do anything because of work schedules and no babysitter. Mm -hmm. So, last night, Saturday, uh, I planned a date for me and the wife. And I would have to say, I did an awesome job. He did a really good job. So, we started off with dinner at uh, Bahama Breeze, which is uh, like an island Jamaican type restaurant. And it was so bomb. So, we did that and then I surprised her. With tickets to go see Mystere, which is a Cirque du Soleil show at Treasure Island. And she legit freaked. She screamed. Insert clip here. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Sorry. It's funny because whenever we're driving through Vegas, he always goes, Do you know where you are? No, I don't know where I am. <laughs> I literally, y'all, seriously, from our apartment, both grocery stores that we use. Walmart's two blocks one way. Smith is half a block the other way. 
Where else do I go consistently? Um, Your job. My Daniel job school. is one block this way. Daniel School is not even a, a whole block away because it's on the same block as my job. And if I'm feeling frisky, I might travel to Target. That's like one mile this way. <laughs> like I don't really go anywhere. So whenever we're driving around, it worked out pretty good last night because he's trying to surprise me. He's like, do you know where you are? And I'm like, I don't know. Because there are billboards everywhere. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I could look up and be like, oh, this is what we're doing. I have no idea where I'm going. So we pull up to Treasure Island and I point at the sign and her reaction was just priceless. She was like, oh, 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 my God, oh, and just the screams and her smile is what made the entire night. Aww. She was so hyped. Um, but that leads to today's topic, mm -hmm. which is dating your spouse. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important that, you know, no matter if you're married, if you've been married one year or 75 years, you got to still date your spouse. Absolutely. Um, because that keeps, it keeps the fire going. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it's easy to get lazy. You know, once you get married and you're like, hey, she here. She ain't going nowhere. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's not good. What'd you say? Hmm? No! <laughs> you know, what do you think about it? I think it's really important. It actually makes, this is going to sound weird. Most things I say do. But it makes me think about um, couples that they've talked about on Valentine's Day and like, those special holiday occasions where some news cast will cover a story where there's an old, a older person, normally the man, who his spouse has passed away, and he'll still visit um, mm -hmm. their grave site, her grave site, or take his picture with her to dinner, and you know do that. And and it just it makes me realize how intimate those couples must have been. Um, how great their communication would be for the spouse to still want to do something like that. Like, even last night at dinner, we weren't just talking about, like, world issues, but we were still getting to know each other. And I think that's so important because people forget that, you know, yeah, we've been together 10 years, but the point is, is that we're still learning about each other. I mean, there are years of our lives that we were not a couple and not together and you know still learning things about each other is important there may be stories that you forgot to tell or didn't tell because there was never really a reason to um and i think that helps you to get to know a person um even last night some of the stuff we talked about i was like wow because i didn't know and and it's interesting because i literally was just sitting there and started randomly thinking about different things and started asking him <laughs> questions and learn which, so much more about him. Which she does a lot with the random questions. I do. But <clears throat> I want to say this. First, you need to bite that burrito. I, I am. I want to see what it looks like. Um, you don't have to go out to date. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. You know, sitting down, putting the kids to bed, mm -hmm. and, you know, watching y'all shows, watching a movie together. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, mm. is it good? She got the three meat burrito. I think it's got steak, chicken, and bacon, and bacon, and guacamole. But back to what I was saying, like, <laughs> don't feel like you have to spend money all mm -hmm. the time to go out. Chilling at the house, enjoying a nice adult beverage, watching a movie, chilling. You know what I mean? That's that's a date. Sitting out on the patio, looking at the clouds go past, mm -hmm. conversating, conversing. 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 Yeah, that that my whole brain was <laughs> conversing. That's a date. You know what I mean? So don't feel like you have to go out and spend buku money. Buku money. Because we did last night. Yeah. We did a lot last night. We did. We're but, not gonna do that no more. Well here's the thing. <laughs> it's kinda like what we talked about last night. Mm -hmm. At least once a month, we want to be able to go out and do something. Um, right. Because we actually do do a lot of 
sitting down, watching shows together, watching movies together. And that's what I was going to say. Our Friday night is split in half. Um, so we have family fun night with Daniel. That normally means taking him to a play place, playing board games, cooking with him. Like we literally, the goal is to wear him out so he'll go to bed because he is a night owl. And Friday night worked out perfectly because mm-hmm. he went right to bed and like it's it's rare if you have children it is but you have to make the time for it like C is a night out I used to be not, but I'm not so much anymore because I know how much I have to do the next day so I'm normally the one that's going to go to bed first but I will stay up or I'll nap before he gets home like he gets off um, pretty late sometimes and so it's easier for me get him get Daniel in the shower, um, make sure dinner's already done, take a quick little 30, 45 minute nap, and that way when Daniel does go to bed, we have our quality time together. Um, so we, we have shows that we watch together. We um, sit up and talk about ridiculous things like, um, what's this show? Um, Amazing Race. Like if we went on Amazing Race, we've already decided that we can't go together. <laughs> Nope. We just can't because he's going to be the one that's more prone to make a decision. However, he will not make that decision if he thinks that I'm not happy with that decision. So we're back in the same boat of which way do we go, George? Which way do we go? That way. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but no, I think that... <laughs> Just, just spending like spending quality time is such a precious thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it's like I said before, we get kind of mundane in relationships. We, um, mm-hmm. oh yeah, mm-hmm. oh yeah, oh yeah, bite it. You gotta bite it. Tear it, tear it. Yeah, sloppy burritos. Yes. Mm-hmm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Oh, Mm-hmm. It's so good, mm-hmm. good. Uh, but you get we get mundane in relationships. We get comfortable. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. And that's I think that's the biggest uh, flaw in relationships. Mm-hmm. People get comfortable, mm-hmm. and when you get comfortable, that's when you get like, bro, we ain't gotta do nothing. Because listen, I, I'm I'm very guilty of that. I have turned into a an absolute homebody. You know what I mean, like. Before it was like, yo, let's go out do this X Y Z X Y Z da 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 da. We gotta go here. We gotta go there. Now it's like this couch in this corner, real comfortable, <laughs> and we got Uber Eats and Postmates that deliver. Fam, we ain't gotta go nowhere. We we've, we've reversed. We mm-hmm. flipped roles because mm-hmm. I was the homebody and he was the going out. And now I'm like, I'm in a new city. I've never really, like, we visited to see family and stuff, but I've never, like, lived here or lived outside of Jonesboro ever in my life. So, I'm just like. But, see, I think that's the big thing, too, though. I've lived here. I done done uh, everything, almost everything in this city. Mm-hmm. So, it's like, I'm like, I, I don't want to do nothing, but I also have to remember, she's new here. Mm-hmm. Daniel's new here, so. And I want to do touristy stuff. And I hate doing touristy stuff. And I want to do all the touristy stuff just because he don't want to do it. Like Vegas touristy stuff is so annoying. Have you been to the mall museum? No. See? And that's what I mean. There's most of the stuff that I want to do that he says, oh, it's going to be touristy. Like he doesn't want to do it. But most of the stuff that I want to do is dorky stuff. Like when we went to the, um, oh my gosh, what was it? The medieval thing. Oh. <laughs> it was so <laughs> him and Daniel were so tortured. But I was like, hooray! My people. <laughs> like full on cosplay. Like people it, would only speak to you in It was a the medieval times. It was a medieval times um It was so funny. I don't even know what to call it. They took over an entire park, one of the biggest parks here in Vegas. <laughs> People Y'all, were seriously. living in the park. They had tents. They built like little communities. I think our when we looked at our steps, you had like twelve thousand. I had it was like fifteen thousand. It was crazy. The whole y'all. 
and it was split up like you had pirates, you had fairies, you had um, royalty, like, and that was my world. And even though he hated it, <laughs> he hated it. And it literally was one of those things that we got tickets the day of. And he came home and I was like, peace. And he did not want to do it. But that's the thing. He sacrificed for me. Oh, excuse me. For me. And so not only did that make me appreciate him more, it, it was kind of rocky um, a little bit into it because it was just so many people. There were so many people there. But it meant so much to me that even though he was extremely outside of his comfort zone, like Charles doesn't do crowds, he doesn't do rides, and he does not do dorky cosplay historically referenced events but i do now I'm not cosplay i can't quite get into that where i gotta spend like thousands of dollars on an outfit but like i said it meant so much to me that he like did that because i know that was something that i would probably not get him to do again until april when they come back here here's the thing and fellas i need y'all to really listen to this okay Sometimes you got to take one for the team. Okay? She wanted to go do this dorky thing <laughs> where it was like cold. It was It wasn't cold. quite cold yet. It was cold. Okay, it was cold. It was cold. I got to walk. I got these crazy people walking around me that are like in character, argh, all this kind of stuff. Oh, when the planes flew by. Yeah, they were like freaking out. <laughs> what is this air thing? The, the, this dragon? It was ridiculous. I say all that to say, <laughs> you got to take one for the team. That way, when you want to do something, mm -hmm. you could be like, well, babe, remember back to, you know, a mm -hmm. few months ago, I went to this dorky thing with you. Now you got to do this with me. And see, ladies, don't even let it get to that point in the conversation where you have to be like, where they have to remind you, like I've never, I've never been that type of person in our relationship. If he calls me and says I'm going out with the boys, I'm like, I right, have fun. I'll see you when you get back. For me, that means I get to watch Turner Classic movies without him going, "Why are you watching this? These are old movies. They have so many other things you can watch. You've seen this before." And I can eat my ice cream without somebody asking me for a bite, even though they say that they don't like. My ice cream. Can you give me a napkin, please? Sure. Thank you. It's give and take, people. That's what we're trying to get to here. Give and take. But, in all <laughs> honesty, you got to compromise. Mm -hmm. It can't be just one way. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's the thing that we're learning as we grow together. That, you know, it's not just what I want to do or what she wants to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We gotta, so we gotta take turns. Or it's, okay, this month we do my thing, next month we mm -hmm. do, you know what I mean? So, yeah. um, but that's what we were talking about last night was, um, you know, every month we wanna plan a nice date, mm -hmm. like for us to go out, enjoy the city, find something for us to do. I think I did an awesome job this weekend. You know, it's on her next month. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, I'm nervous though. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Because it's going to be, yeah, I'm nervous. Don't be scared. Mm. My bad. My bad in advance. This fish taco is so fire. Well, I wouldn't know because I tried to get one and you wouldn't let me try. Thank you. Are you going to hold it? Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm hmm no. You see how I shared? I always share with him. Y'all, y'all have seen him eat out of my plate every week. You're trying to get the most meat. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh, really good. That lime. I like that. That's good. The bacon is weird on that. It brings the smokiness out on the steak, though. Mm -hmm. I like it. Did you get any of the guac? Yeah, the guac was good. Yeah. The guac is good. Mm hmm So, 
to wrap this up because we've already been talking for 22 minutes. Guys, get out and date. Mm-hmm. And now, if you're single, I don't know what to tell you. Date for information. De- that's a whole different. That's a it, whole different topic. It was funny because I was talking to two of my friends at work, and they're both single: Nikki and Shakayla. Okay, but really, balance, wow, skills. And they were talking about how they use they're using dating apps now. Mm-hmm. Y'all, I'm gonna be honest with you. Ten years ago, when we met, no clue, no clue. Dating apps. Twitter. We but see here's the thing though. We followed each other on Twitter. But we didn't start dating until your mom introduced us. Mm-hmm. And then after you shunned me in front of everybody and then came back and apologized later. And yeah. you really had to do that. Mm-hmm. 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 Um, but we like we would like each other's tweets and I would like slick on the cool <laughs> sub tweeter. She had no idea. Because I wasn't, I, like, I like Twitter because I could say what I wanted to say and didn't really have to get feedback. So I would just be up tweeting about Sports Center, arguing with the commentators and yelling at the TV. And he's like, oh, remember, 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 remember. And I'm like, and another thing. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't done with my thought, so I, I had to continue on. But it just trips me out that now it's come down to you got to swipe mm-hmm. to say you like somebody, and then hope they like you back. Hope that they like you back. Yeah. But I'm gonna be real with you. Some of these dudes are out here on these apps just looking for one thing and one thing only. Yep. And that's exactly what I was sitting here thinking. I it would scare me to use a dating app because a lot of times that's pretty much what the expectation is. Well, a, a, a couple of dating apps in particular, it's right. literally the goal. Yeah. But, you know, some people just take advantage of things and if they figure out, excuse me, that they can get what they want. That was a good one. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was so bad. But if they figure out they can get what they want by going through several different venues, they're going to take advantage of it. That That's not men. That's people, period. Because I know women that are, like, super shady when it comes to dating and expectations and all that jazz. So I just feel like it's crazy that we've gotten away from conversation. Mm-hmm. And even, like, even dating, okay? Mm-hmm. And, I'll, and this will be the last thing because I think we're, we've talked long enough. Mm-hmm. Um, it's funny, like, when you go out. And you see like people on dates and they're always like this mm-hmm. and like that person sitting in front of them and they're not talking. They're, they're sitting on their, you know, Facebook and all that stuff. Like last night, it was funny. We were at the table and we're sitting there talking and then she breaks out her phone and starts going through Facebook. I took her phone away from her. It was not while we were talking. It was not while we were talking. There was a lull and I was looking for something to show him. But he didn't want to look at it because he was like, no, it's about us right now. And I was like, you know what? You're right. So, so took her phone he took away. my phone and put it next to him because he knows I will pick it up again. Yes. So Because my thought wasn't finished. Anyways. Yeah. That's the other thing. Leave your phones at home or leave your phones in the car or, you know, put your phones in the purse or whatever. We can't leave our phones at home. We have a child. That's true. If you have a child, put your phones at the end of the table, whatever. Just put them out of arm's reach. That way you can focus on the person that you're sitting with. I can't really be because no, I'm touching my burrito. I said me. I can't. I really can't. Off. I'm just doing it close to it. It's so weird. Can you feel the air? Yes. Okay. And then you just touched me. All right, guys. <laughs> so we're going to wrap it up. Uh, thanks for watching. Mm-hmm. Comments down below. Let us know uh, dating your spouse. How do you guys feel about it? Uh, suggestions. Suggestions on dates. Mm-hmm. That's the other thing. I think, like, I heard. Rachel Hollis and Dave Hollis talk about this on their um, podcast about putting like ideas in a bowl, putting ideas in a bowl, and then they would go and mix up the bowl, pick out the date, and if if the date was nerdy, if it sucked, whatever, that's what they would have to do that night. So I think we should start doing that. 
Oh God. See this like that evil eye that you just gave me. I, I'm mm -mm, you're up to something. I don't like it. But thank y'all for watching, man. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying these mukbangs because we are because we are eating good. <laughs> man, mm -hmm. uh, our workout starts back up on Monday. Yeah, this is like the one day a week that we get like a cheat meal. That's not true because Fridays we get cheat Way meals to too. Way to kill my vibe. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're brand new. Hit those links down in our description. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and IG. And we're going to talk to y'all next week. Love each and every one of y'all. want you guys to have a blessed week. Go hug somebody. Tell them that you love them. Two fingers in the air. Peace. And we'll talk to y'all next week. Bye, guys. Did you really just sign language that whole thing? Interpretive dance, baby. Ha, 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 ha.